Okay, friends, we are going into the vocal booth. Camera one, camera two, camera three. All right. So we're going to start from the beginning, guys. Okay, let's first open Pro Tools. Um, I've already opened it. Start a new session. I'm going to name this Boys Don't Cry. And I'm going to do it from scratch. I'm not going to do my templates. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm um, going to put it to 24-bit. Um, yeah, prompt me for a location. Let's put this, my Pro Tools, 2022. Go for it. All right, very, very blank session. So the first thing I want to do is shift Apple N to uh, make some new tracks. I'm going to probably do uh, two, one... I'll probably want one or two lead tracks and uh, at least, let's say four backing tracks. So I'm gonna make six mono tracks just to have uh, in my setup. I'm also gonna have, let's see, uh, that's two, uh, one auxiliary for, I'm gonna have one auxiliary for the leads, one auxiliary for the backgrounds and uh, just, I'm going to just make two effects chains. So let's make four stereo auxiliary tracks. I am going to make stereo master fader. And that's all I'm going to create for now. Um, I didn't name them. So let's go ahead and do lead one. And remember, uh, command arrow to the right sneaks us over to the next track. So lead two, command to the right, BGV one, BGV two, B, oh, BGV three, BGV four. Here's my lead aux. Here is my BGV aux. Here will be my reverb, and this will be my delay. And then the master is just the master. Um, I actually am going to, I'm gonna clear all these. I am going to make a record track because um, that's how I like to record. So I'm gonna create one more, I'll name it here, my record track. Button. Okay, so uh, with that, my record track is here. Uh, I am going to assign it to my correct microphone input, which is two. So we don't see anything. We don't see anything on the screen until I hit uh, that. So now we know. Ah, I'm here. Hello. Yeah. Um. So the song. Uh, I could maybe cheat and test the level without the song, but sometimes I, I just like to do it when I start recording and see how the first take goes, but, ooh. Boys don't seem to cry. Boys, boys don't seem to cry, so why? That looks, that's a great level. I'm gonna leave it right there. Um, and then, and uh, by the way, if it was a bad level, um, how I have my system set up, because I use the Apollo Twin, it has this software. Uh, so this is my gain knob right here. Uh, so as you can see, as I lower it, my level starts to go way down. If I put it way too high, it'll be way too high. We had it around 28, 29, uh, and that feels good. All right. Um, my microphone does not require phantom power, so I don't have the 48 volts on. Um, but uh, the microphone I was using earlier did, so I did have it on because that was a slate uh, condenser mic. Okay, so uh, back to Pro Tools. Here we are. Record is pretty ready, but I want to make sure now my routing uh, is good. So um, I'm going to send my leads so I did shift to uh, select them both. Is that bothering you like it's bothering me? Ooh. <laughs> okay, shift, 
option. Now, remember, uh, option would change all of them. Shift option just changes the things that I have um, selected to whatever I'm about to tell it to do, whether it's soloing, whether it's muting, whether it's uh, changing the bus. It's just a simple thing to know. See, one, two, one, and two, it did it to both. That shift option um, basically just does whatever you're telling it to do to all the ones that are, that are selected. So I'm going to do that again with BG, uh, BGV1 through 4, shift, option, send those out, 3 and 4. Why not? Now I need to assign where those actually go. So 1 and 2, I'm going to assign it to my lead aux's input, right? Plus 1 and 2. And then I'm sending out the BGVs to the BGV aux. So I need to assign the input so that this track receives what I'm sending it. Cool. Um, reverb and delay. Uh, let's assign them. Bus 5 and 6. <laughs> we'll just go in order. It's really up to you. Um, sometimes I, I like go in tens. Like, okay, I'm in a new category of track. So I'm going to go maybe 11, 12 on this. I don't know. Whatever, uh, whatever pleases your uh, personal OCD. <laughs> um, so I've assigned five and six to the reverb. I've assigned seven and eight to the input uh, for delay. And remember, effects are sends. So um, there's an I in front of these. That's for insert. There's an S in front of these. That's for send. So... Um, I'm going to put those sends on the lead and background auxiliary auxiliary channels. So I'm going to do a send out to bus 5 and 6. That gives me a fader. I'm going to give it a little bit of juice. Not too much. Um, and then I'm going to... Uh, well, I can actually just option. So option, clicking and dragging something. It's like dragging and dropping an additional... Uh, duplicate of it. So I'm just going to option click this and drag it over. And it it's even at the same. Uh, I even copied over the same level for that. Uh, now I'm going to make another send for seven and eight for my delay. I'm going to give it a little bit, not too much. Okay. And I'm going to copy that over. Cool. So we just did a bunch of running. That's like all of it though it's really great um now maybe we will actually put a reverb on for fun let's use i'm going to use the one that i actually use which is valhalla room i love this um i'm obsessed with anything cathedral so i'm just gonna pick uh this one and this is an 11.6 second dk meaning it's gonna like when you when the reverberations are happening um you're going to continue hearing that sound for 11.6 seconds. So that's quite long. I drag these down to maybe maybe like six or five. Um, and I keep the mix at 100. And then I have it controlled here to really only be doing this much reverb. Um, now, if you copied the settings, <laughs> by the way, if you copied the settings uh, from the from from uh, the delay that we chose the other day, uh, this eights delay that I used, um, the feedback is 100%. Uh, so, oh my God, don't do that. Um, feedback is how many times, think about feed, what feedback actually is, is when uh, it, it's a loop that gets created when uh, what I say goes through the mic and out the speakers and then it comes out that speaker and goes back into the mic and then out the speakers and back into the mic so that's why you hear ee! that was a terrible uh, <laughs> that was a terrible uh, impression but that's why you hear that loud ringing sound um when people are performing on stage and they go too close to the speakers with their microphone it's there was a feedback loop um so same concept with delay uh it's like a loop. 
it's a loop. Uh, so it's feed, feedbacking, feeding, feeding back. It's repeating. So it's like echo. So it's going to be repeating 100% means it'll be repeating forever and ever. So it'll like almost never diminish, I think. So I want to pull this down. Maybe I'll put it down. The, I don't even know. We'll have to test it out and see what it sounds like. But I'm going to pull it down to 47%. Um, and then I'm going to put my mix to 100. So if you're using this delay, do that. I'm actually going to not use this delay because this is my session. And I'm going to use what I like, which is Echo Boy. Echo Boy by Sound Toys. Um, they have the best Black Friday sales. Vocal. So these are insane um, amounts of presets. But uh, I'm really just going to go with like a classic. I don't even know. Um... I'm going to go with, let's see how accented tape eights go sound. Um, so, uh, and then I'm actually going to change it from an eighth to a quarter note because that's what I want. And then I am going to do my vocal chain um, roughly. Uh, my, my vocal chain probably takes a lot of tweaking, but just for the purposes of this uh this class i'm just going to uh populate the plugins that i use and like throw on a preset so we'll, we'll go with female vocals this is um sibilance by waves it is a de-esser and then uh, my next i'm gonna put my fab filter pro q3 this is the um eq that i use so i'm gonna go ahead oh i'm gonna I'm going to throw on a, a young preset right here. Hey, that looks good. Um, and then later on, I'm probably going to do that search and destroy method <laughs> to find my resonant frequencies. But I'm pretty sure... Um, I'm pretty sure they're around here. Uh, so we'll just do a, a little dip right there. I'm going to also increase my low cut so we don't get too much low end crap um next i'm uh just in case i ha i mean so i have i have a light in here i have camera one camera two uh so there's a lot going on in this room so i'm gonna just intuitively feel like i want to put this gate on to uh maybe reduce if there's any hum in this in this vocal booth i want it to kill it so i love this perfect voice over gate i'm just gonna throw that on um, soften and soften it. No, this way. Soften it this way. Okay. Okay. And, and now I'm going to put on a compressor. Compressor dynamics. Uh, let's do CLA-2A. Yeah. Start me up is a great preset. I'm going to do sibilant vox because that I have sibilant vox vocals. Um, by the way, a lot of play, a lot of these uh, plugins sneak in this uh, feature called analog, and uh, it's but what it really is doing fifty hertz or sixty hertz, um, which is a low note. It will put in like a vintage sounding gear hum, and I don't really need that anymore in my life. So I always sw automatically switch those to off. So if you see analog um, on your plugin any kind of plug-in, um, that's basically just adding an additional hum noise, which I don't need. Uh, so do that. Okay, so I have my de my EQ gate compressor. What else do I want? Um, I'm going to use my other favorite toy compressor, which is Waves um, Vocal Rider. I like it like it a lot just helps um smooth things out a little bit more uh so yeah i'm gonna not let it go too low cool um and then i'm just going to copy those same settings over to the background vocal aux chain for now and 
lastly, let's throw a couple plugins on our uh, wonderful master. I'm gonna throw on the ML. No, first I'm gonna put on Quick Child. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use his default setting, and then I'm gonna do my ML 4000 after that. I'm gonna throw on the smooth mastering setting I like. Uh, ooh, instantly made me way louder. See that? Hey, limiting. Um, next, I'm gonna do, ooh, ooh, ooh. We're gonna use a little baby bit, a very baby bit of Soothe 2. So Soothe 2, um, you gotta be careful with because it, let's just do master start. Um, if you use it too much, if you have these knob, this knob is up too high, sh it starts to make this like shishy sound. Um, so just use your ears, um, maybe play with these, uh, knobs here. If you use Soothe 2, they have a great, uh, free trial, but, um, <laughs> one thing I'm noticing is in my ear, since I put all those plugins on now, uh, I have a real delay. So ready to watch. So see it like. It's making the sound way later. Um, so I am going to turn this way down so it doesn't get in my ear like that because it bothers me. And I think we're ready to start this recording session. No, we're not. I want to first change my background vocals panning to left and right. Ah, that'll be nice. I'll just do like 100... And 80. Ah, here's a uh, here's another quick key sort of tip. Um, sometimes you'll be pulling these knobs up and down. Oh, by the way, you don't like rotate the knob. You just pull it up and down, and it goes and it goes left and right. I was like trying to like go like this before, uh, <laughs> and when I didn't know, and I, it drove me crazy. I'm like, why isn't it turning? I'm turning it in a turning motion. Uh, it's it's not like that. So. Um, remember, option click makes it go back to zero, and then uh, when you're pulling it to the side, sometimes see like maybe I wanted it on seventy, but it's like it's like hard to land right on the number. If you hold command down um, while you're doing that, it makes it move slower and more fine tuned, so uh, it's easier. I don't know why they do that, but it, it, it makes life a lot easier. Okay, and then the last thing I have to do before I start this session is bring in that instrumental. Um, let me grab that. I downloaded it, or I bounced it from our other session. Um, no. I have a lot of light in here, so I keep having to like look to the side to see what I'm doing. Okay, Boys Will Cry instrumental. I'm going to pull it and drag it into my session somewhere on the bottom. And I, oops, I like to have my instrumental sitting on the top. I'm also going to make a click track. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my... Oops, Sorry, it's hard, to, it's hard to see. Oh, shit, what did I just say? I can't see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I couldn't see. Okay, so I added my MIDI controls to my transport area. And now I'm going to tap this tempo out and figure out what the tempo is. If I did that too fast, uh, reminder, you have to click here uh, so it's highlighted, and then you'll press play and rock on with it by hitting the letter T.
So it looks like it's sitting around uh, 125. I'm going to press enter to go back to the beginning. And then I'm going to use command brackets to make this screen wider. So this happens a lot. Watch. See how the beginning of the track is uh, got some space. Uh, one thing you can do is like place a cut there and knock it over. Um, another way I make the grid really start at the beginning of the track is um, I'll just like move it over. Right. And then I will do my nudge function. Uh, so which is these two buttons. Um, and then it went a little farther than I want. So I'm going to uh, command click and drag to slip it over right there. The other way you can do it because I want you to know all the ways all the ways is to drop down the tempo map right here. And then you'd grab the little red guy when I hover over it my little grabber tool shows up and then I'm going to slide it over notice I'm holding command um, and also uh, I can find the 125 just by dragging up and down here or I can just drop it and then go over here and type it in hit enter and then test it out and, and listen to see that my click is correct I'll turn the click on So it sounds right. So I'm just going to go ahead and I think I I started it a little early so it made the click sound rushed. That's cool. One thing I'm going to do cuz it oh shit. One thing I'm going to do to help my sanity is I'm going to open up the uh, EQ and I'm going to put a low pass filter uh, and I'm going to increase the Q so it's a bigger, uh, harsher slope. So much more pleasant. So much more pleasant. Okay, cool. Next, we record. That's all that's next. So let's do it. All right. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever recorded live with people. So, uh, here we go. I'm going to start maybe like... All right, let's go ahead and record. <laughs> Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? Is that I need to be broken? What's wrong with being strong? It ain't for me, baby. Sorry, but we don't belong. That was one strike and I'm gone. Cool, let's do another. Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? Is that I need to be broken? All right, I, I like that. Let's do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? Um, I'm gonna turn the click off actually because it's fucking up my groove. Excuse my language. It's messing up my groove. Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? I said I need to be broken, what's wrong with being strong? It ain't for me, baby, sorry, but we don't belong. That was one strike and I'm gone. Cool, I like that. Um, now I'm going to do it a slightly different way. I'm going to just record the first two lines and then I'm going to punch in second two lines uh, so you get to see what that is. Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? I said I need to be broken. What's wrong with being strong? So this is part of the recording magic. Um, I was kind of like out of breath when I was getting to those parts. So um, I'm going to punch in right here. And what I might even do is put that on a separate take. Um, they don't overlap, so I probably wouldn't uh, in real life. But uh, it, that is uh, an option. 
It ain't for me, baby. Sorry, but we don't belong. I didn't like that. It ain't for me, baby. Sorry, but we don't belong. That was one strike and I'm gone. Cool. So uh, I want to see. So yeah, that could be a good fade, cross fade. All right. So um, I'm good with three takes uh, for the purposes of this class. I'm going to go ahead and do my comping. So I'm going to listen back and decide which pieces I want. So. Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? Ooh, I like that. Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? If I don't take my time moving on If I don't take my time moving on If I don't take my time moving on Said I need to be If I don't take my time moving on If I don't take my time moving on If I don't take my time You can see the decisions I'm making, yes? Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? I said I need to be broken, what's wrong with being strong? I said I need to be broken, what's wrong with being strong? I said I need to be broken, what's wrong with being strong? Hmm. I don't love, I don't love any of this. I said I need to be broken, what's wrong with being strong? I said I need to be broken, what's wrong with being strong? I said I need to be broken. Said I need to be, said I need to be, said I need to be, said I need to be. Said I need to be broken, what's wrong with being strong? Said I need to be broken, what's wrong with being strong? It ain't for me, baby, sorry, but we don't belong. It ain't for me, it ain't for me, baby, sorry, but we don't belong. It ain't for me, baby, sorry, but we don't belong. Alright. Uh, I'm probably gonna do another take of this. I don't love that yet. That was one strike and I'm gone. That was one strike and I'm gone. That was one strike and I'm gone. Cool, so uh, I ended up liking the rest of this take. Um which I had already grabbed this part of that take. So instead of popping up this piece, I just trimmed out the rest of that take. So obviously uh, I need to clean my room. Um, we're not using these, so we don't have to clean that room. So I'm gonna just focus on this right now. So uh, I'm probably gonna just fade that in a bit. Um, that's a little leftovers from a different take. That looks easy. I'm pretty sure these will be good as is. Um, yeah, I pretty much grabbed things uh, where there were spaces. This one's a little funky. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just move that over here. Hope that broke. Be broken, won't be strong. It ain't for me, baby. Sorry, but we don't belong. That was one stuck and I'm gone. Showing you basic fading, but for the most part, uh, these are pretty easy fades. When we get more complicated into uh, middles of words, <laughs> uh, I'll show you how I approach that. I mean, you just you just saw one one decision I made was this fade isn't really working here so I ended up uh using a different uh using another word instead of the broken I took that from a different take and I slid it over is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on I said I need to be broken what's wrong with being strong it ain't for me baby sorry but we don't belong that was one strike and I'm gone this part sounded a little late to me, so I just um, nudged it a little bit. Don't take my 
happy with this uh let's see i have a pre-chorus uh i need to remember what it sounds like i use pages when i write and i uh put these little audio bl blurbs uh, if you have pages the way you do that is through insert uh record audio and it pops up with this amazing little thing you can just record audio right into your document you can move these around this is my favorite songwriting tool uh super duper side note so I'm just going to play it back and remi remind myself what it sounded like. Let's see if I remember that. <laughs> I don't remember things very easily. You, you don't take over my mind like I thought that you might. <sighs> I run out of breath. So um, I'm going to option drag my auto tune and then I'm going to drag this tune. I'm going to put the the new section on a new track. It's just better organized. Um, notice uh, if, you know, if you want to get into vocal production a little bit, uh, uh, this is one of my things I do. I just like sing the word before it's going to come in. It gets my vocals in my mind ready to sing that part. Um, but the beginning sounded nice, so I'm just going to punch in. My mind like I thought that you might. One more time. From my mind like I thought that you might I guess I'm alright Ooh, I started distorting there So, uh, uh, another reminder Let me show you what I just did I, I'm sorry, I moved too fast uh, I pressed command with my selector tool to place just placing the cursor there, and then I did Command E, that splits the audio, and then I just highlight this piece of audio and delete it because I don't need it, and I'm probably gonna just crossfade that there. You don't take over my mind like I thought that you might. I'm gonna turn my gain down a little bit for this spot. You're like 26. I guess I'm really flat. I guess I'm alright. I forgot what the next lyric was. I guess I'm alright. So I guess it's goodbye. <laughs> look like they might overlap so i'm kind of okay so I, I i edit as i go clean up your room as you go um make it a habit I, I i'm not even thinking about it that i'm doing it um i'm just doing it baby so uh let's listen back to that make sure i like it you don't take over my mind like i thought that you might i guess i'm all right so i guess it's goodbye I like it's super loud, so I'm just placing a cut, and I'm just going to gain it down just a tiny bit. Okay, now let's move on to the chorus. This one will be fun because we get into stacking and harmonies. Very excited. Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? Won't ruin my makeup over you and all your lies and all your lies. Won't ruin my day just cause you do. <laughs> that has a few meanings. Okay, cool. Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? Won't ruin my makeup over you and all your lies and all your lies. Won't ruin my day just cause you do. Alright, cool. I like that. Let's do a couple more. Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? Won't ruin my makeup over you and all your lies and all your lies. Won't ruin my day just cause you do. 
Does that make sense? I'm not saying won't ruin my day because you do ruin my day. I'm meaning like uh, because you do lie. I think that's unclear. I might need to rewrite that part, but whatever. Um. Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? Won't ruin my makeup over you and all your lies and all your lies. Won't ruin my day just cause you do. That felt pretty good. So let's go ahead and comp chorus. Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? Boys don't seem to cry, so I love that. why should I? I already know I want that line. So why should I? So why should I? the instrumental hear it better won't ruin my day just cuz you do 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 cool won't ruin my day just cuz you do won't ruin my day just cuz you do Cool, that sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and hide my playlist because I don't need them anymore. Now I'm gonna double these. Um, and <laughs> I'm gonna double my auto tune as well. Boys, I, boys, don't. Drag that down to the BGB one track. Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? Won't ruin my makeup over you and all your lies. Won't my makeup over you and all your lies and all your lies. Won't ruin my day just 'cause you do. 
Okay, notice I just like moved very quickly there. I decided I didn't like that take and I punched in here. However, I rudely recorded over the end of that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it back out um, and put a cute crossfade there. Okay, so I have my doubles. Um, I sang those pretty fast and poorly, so um, what I'm gonna do is vocal line these. Um, favorite plugin, like even better than auto tune. <laughs> um, so, uh, Real quick the way vocal line works what it's doing is it's um i think i've already told you this you capture the lead um and then you want the waveforms to be the same length so or the same starting point so uh capture highlight the double and then capture the double and then i'm gonna make this a little tighter uh it's gonna match the timing and the pitch do it to this one as well. Notice I uh, selected one uh, wave and then I selected the other one with the shift and so it, you know, clicked both of them. Capture that one, render that one. Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? Okay, so I'd have to come up with a harmony. Boys don't seem to cry. So Boys don't seem to cry. Boys don't seem to cry. So why should I? That's cool. Arrangement, harmonies, um, writing background vocals, it's its a practice and you get better and better at it as you practice. Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? Listening back. Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? Won't ruin my makeup over you and all your lies and all your lies. Won't ruin my day just cause you do. Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? Add that uh, quickly I'm gonna duplicate shift option D uh, these so I can add one more harmony um, however this time when we duplicate I'm gonna uncheck active playlists um, because I don't want to copy this audio um, so when I hit OK it should copy everything except for the actual audio it even copied that we had autotune on it copied that my outputs are bus three and four. Uh, so it's duplicated everything except for the actual audio because I told it not to. I just wanted to add this one harmony on the end. All right. Cool. I might I might do some vocal lighting on these as well, just so they're perfect, super super duper tight. But for the most part, um, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, let's listen to the recording.